So what are we looking at here? We're looking at a set of equations and can we identify what they could be? If we think back and look at the observation equation down here, we have yt and think of linear regression models. Then we have some design matrix here, uh, that's ct. And then we have some uh, parameters here, xt. But then if we look at the parameters that we have formulated up here, we formulate a process for the parameters where we say it's w what it was before plus some noise. So we say we have a random walk for the parameters that we use in a regression model. That's one interpretation at least. And if you look at this system, well, what is it that we're doing? We're looking at a Kalman filter, basically. So we're looking at a Kalman filter where the parameters here are the so-called latent state, and then we have the xt here is our design matrix that we updated at each point in time. And then we can just go through this and use the common filter to track parameters, just like we did for the adaptive uh, recursive estimation just before. We can do a similar thing with the common filter. It is, as we've shown before, it's basically just a common filter where the coefficient here, xt, is changing over time. It usually be just a c, but here we just use x to identify that is the design matrix for the regression model. So it's basically just getting back to what it was before. I'm sorry. And the big difference between using a common filter and using adaptive least squares is that here, you by tuning sigma 1, you can tune how the different parameters here, how large, how fast do they grow, how fast are they allowed to diverge from an estimate. So you can, ha in that way, you have different memories for the different parameters. So that's the big thing about this, how it's different from what we saw before. So what we can do here is, among other things, we can have an armor process where the parameters are changing over time. And you can have the parameters, they can be either more or less dismissive function, or they can be stochastic processes. When the, pro the parameters are stochastic processes, as we had in the previous example or the previous slide, then we call them a double stochastic because we have both stochastic process for the parameters and a stochastic process for the observations. So you can have armor processes with armor, uh, where the parameters are themselves, again, armor processes. Again, all these things have to kind of think straight when you implement it, but you can write it all up as a common filter. That's one of the nice things. Just like the linear regression model is very flexible for uh, things that are regressions, a common filter is very flexible for things that are evolving in time. 